Ah, oh, damn it, the background again. Sorry for the technical difficulties, peeps. It just keeps happening. Anyways, hello and welcome to another episode of Phoenix and Glitchy Talk Shit. I finally fucking got the name right. Yay! Bitch, better Aww. have my money. This video yeah. is about fandoms. No, actually, it's my birthday. No. Wrong video. Yeah. That's the next one. Today slash yesterday, depending on your time zone. July first was... was my birthday. Yay. Yeah, it was Glitchy's it birthday. Sucked. So, happy birthday, Glitchy! Thank you. Because Glitchy is awesome. I even, got a, I, got a, I even got birthday wishes from your mom, and you made me so happy. Yes. And she I'm asked gonna... me hmm? when you told me about the shit your mom pulled. She was mad. She was so mad. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Hold on, where is that stupid little pair? I don't. Know, I think I put them in the washer. I'm looking around. My mother. Yep. My mother's idea of a birthday gift, and usually I'm I'm very grateful. And when people get me gifts, I spaz, and I'm super happy. But this instance, I'm fairly sure my mom gave me a used pair of pajamas from my sister-in-law. They're short, short pajamas, and I don't wear short shorts, and she knows that. I like long, baggy pants when I sleep, particularly like these pants. These motherfuckers are so baggy. And I prefer loose, comfortable clothing when I sleep. And, you know, maybe I'll wear a tank top or something like what I'm wearing now. But she got me this little short short set and a spaghetti shop tank top. And I'm just sitting here like, really, Mom? I can smell the pussy stank from my sister-in-law. And you want to know why I know what her pussy stank smells like? Because it's that fucking pungent that it gets on everything. It's disgusting. Um, I will say a good thing that I did get was this from my sons. It is... Sorry, ignore all my other chains. It is from the Columbus Zoo, and it says, Protect, oh, protect wildlife, right? Yeah, protect wildlife. It's got a big old sea turtle, a manatee, a flamingo of awesomeness, a shark, and my favorite thing in the world, penguins! Penguins! And then I also got this cute little thing. It's got some sort of body wash or something like that in it. And granted, I love penguins, but I know my mom got this, like, a while back, but she forgot to give it to me. Oh, and then, uh, let's see. <laughs> she got me a bargain basement clearance cake for, like, eight bucks. So next year, for my birthday, I'm gonna buy myself a goddamn birthday cake. And it's gonna have Pokemon on it, goddammit. Come hell or high water, it's gonna have Pokemon on it. And this brings me to an interesting... And this brings me to an interesting thought. If you're gonna give a birthday gift, take the fucking price tag off. Well, there's that, but don't re-gift. And wash there are it. Jesus Christ. There are situations where regifting is okay. Mm -hmm. Birthdays and Christmas are not one of them, unless you're getting a Christmas present to your neighbor or somebody you don't really know that well, or don't like, or I'm don't just like. Saying, my mom doesn't like me. Regifting is fine. But birthdays and Christmas, unless it's an acquaintance, are not okay. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying give an acquaintance all your old shit. No. <laughs> there is etiquette and shit to go with that sort of and thing. And I'm not asking for, like, diamonds and fucking pearls and rubies and shit and a lot of bling. I'm just saying, Mom, could you put some fucking effort into it? And put a little thought in a gift in general. I'm not hard to no buy matter. for. She knows what I like. I like Pokemon. I like hot guys. It's not that hard to get me a hot guy poster. Um, I like penguins. I love penguins. And I love stuffed animals. I wouldn't even buy a stuffed animal from Goodwill. I like the monkey that my son actually got. Emmett got. My, my mom bought Emmett a monkey from Goodwill today. Which also, by the way, she took so long getting to my house or actually she didn't even come to my house as a matter of fact and then she had the audacity to ask for gas money the cake she brought me was falling apart it oh got my God. so hot and melted What? I, I just had a funny thought when you said that your mother asked for gas money mm. bitch better have my money <laughs> yes yeah, and then, and then, and then... <coughs> I'm not gonna lie, I got kinda salty with Boneyards, because he slept a lot. 
during my for the day. But I mean, I understand at the same time, and I was being a little bit childish about it. But, because he had a lot of work he had to do last night, carrying corpses and whatnot. In case you guys don't know this already, I don't think I've really mentioned it. My boyfriend is part of a livery service here in my area. And he um, transports the dead to where they need to go. Not not a hearse driver. Uh, before all no. that. He brings the bodies to funeral homes, to from crime scenes to autop uh, corners to... Fuck, what's it called? Uh, where they burn the people? Crim uh, crematory. Yeah. Crematory. Mm -hmm. And stuff like that. So, honestly, I got a lot of saltiness. And when my money came in today, um, I bought myself some headphones. I bought myself Slenderman, The Arrival, which I'm going to freak out when I play it. And I got myself some DLC for fucking Mass Effect and... Or Mass Effect 2 and 3. Oops, I just accidentally opened this fucking thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, I bought some stuff today, too. And I got a present, too. I got a present on your birthday. That was kind of strange. What'd you get? I got... This. Oh, yeah, the killer knife. I love it. Now, now there's a story about this knife, actually. Mm -hmm. My dad makes custom knives, for those that you guys don't know. Um, and he made this about... Two, three months ago to sell. Mm -hmm. We were hoping to sell it. I really liked it when he made it. Because it fits oh, my hand really well. Yeah, it's cute. Um, and it actually has a chain. goes around your neck. Nice. Um, but we realized, for one thing, the price of the materials that went into it. Mm -hmm. We would have to make, we would have to charge between um, 200 and $300 for it. And I'm sorry to say, it's a glorious looking knife, but nobody's going to fucking pay that for real. Well, and, and that's the thing. There are people that Keeps will pay it, but they're, in, they're independently wealthy people, and those are few and far between. Mm. And they would much rather have one custom made to their specifications exactly. than one that's already pre-made. Which, we make custom knives, so that's kind of our thing. Mm. So, today, he took it, my mom and I went, I mean, my mom and dad, sorry, went to a, um, a knife meeting where a whole bunch of knife lovers kind of congregated. Nice. And they brought this, hoping to sell it. And when they didn't sell it, my dad was like, you know what? I'm going to give it to Alex, because I had been saying that I wanted it. mean Phoenix? Oh, <laughs> Phoenix. Uh, it's going to uh, go back and forth. It's going to go back and forth, it really is. But I forget. Aside from, unless I'm really like talking about myself hardcore and talking about somebody else addressing me, I'm just literally have been calling myself glitchy. Anyways, do continue. Um, so, when they got home at 11 this evening, <laughs> they were like, or my dad was like, would you like an early Christmas present? I'm like, oh. yes, presents, where, what? <laughs> presents, <laughs> presents, <laughs> and so he handed me this. Mine, mine, so, mine, mine. <laughs> and so he handed me this, and it's mine now, and yeah. It's awesome. Which, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's actually a design yeah. made. Yeah, I can see that. It's, like, really awesome. It looks like flames, almost. Yes, that's why I like it. Nice. Um, but, yeah. Wait. So, I got a present for your birthday. <laughs> um, and, nice. in case you guys are, and in case you guys are sitting here going, well, what did you get, Glitchy, for her birthday, Phoenix? You lazy-ass bum. Um... <laughs> He got me Dragon Age Inquisition, the Deluxe Edition, during the summer sale on Origin. And I got you something else, didn't I? And I forgot what it was now. Remember me. Oh, and yeah, I still that's haven't right. got to play. Remember me was on sale on the summer sale on Steam. So, yeah. Oh, did you know did they came out with a second one, Remember Me? Really? Yeah, on Origin. Really? I'm going to look this up. Fucking really. But, yeah, my birthday, I'm not going to lie, peeps. Like, I'm grateful for what I got. And my boyfriend got me... Dragon Ball Z universe during the summer sale because it went on sale, and you know that was great and that was wonderful. And he also took took me and my boys, our boys, out to dinner at the China Garden buffet around here. And there's like lots of China Garden buffets I found out like all over the place. But anyways, I think we have a China Garden here. <laughs> it's a very common fucking like Chinese restaurant name. But yeah, so that was great. And getting, you know, time with my boys, getting time with my honey, 
and whatnot was great. Also, in case you guys are wondering, my kids are sleeping right now, so that's why I'm not being quite as zany as usual, and I keep having one ear out. Um, if you're wondering about the music, it's just free music I got off of YouTube video makers. It's uh, Dish Diggin by the Jingle Punks. I don't really have a link for it or anything. I don't know how to link it. And yeah, we're, we're doing royalty-free stuff. Yeah, it's so all royalty-free, and it literally is any music you've heard on this has been stuff that I got for free from YouTube itself in the uh, video editing managing section. Because we're totally um, too poor to pay for music for our totally. videos. <laughs> now, if somebody wanted to offer us, you know, free music for us to promote for them, that'd be great. Yeah, I mean, I would totally do that. Um, but, um... We are, would also, if you are, I had, this is an idea that a friend of mine gave me, actually. If you are a media and video editing student, and you would like something to edit to, um, you know, practice and test your skills, hit us up, because we could and use And understand that I'm extremely introverted, and I'm very bad at talking to new people. Please go easy on me. <laughs> me too. And I, myself, am kind of picky, not like on how our videos look, because I don't want it to look like shit, um, but we're new, so it's going to kind of look like shit for a while until we figure out <laughs> how shit works. Yeah. So so expect some input if that was to happen. Um, but yeah, that's I expect a thing. lot of questions, and for me to immediately forget what you've told me, I'm, my t I'm called Glitchy for a fucking reason, people. And awkwardness, because I'm totally socially awkward. I'm socially that's awkward, too. That's part of why I'm still single. Um, but yeah. I don't know how I have a boyfriend, honestly. I don't know. We've been together like damn near five years. I don't know how this happened. It just happened. And and what? What? We do. What? We're really weird. We don't like going to bars. We don't, you know, go to clubs or anything. We don't. Really well, there drink. aren't any. There aren't any gay bars around here. Dude, there are a lot around here. I live in the ass end of Texas, so like. Dude, yeah, you're fucked. In that yeah. good way. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'm definitely not fucked in that good way. <laughs> um, not for but, real though. Before my my internet brother, uh, Justin Experiment, got together with his boyfriend, I was totally gonna talk, like, try and hook you guys up, and then I realized he was in Michigan and you're in Texas, and I'm like, oh, messed up right away. I've tried the long distance relationship it's, thing a couple of times. Work. Well, and, and in a, different time zones. Well, and I've seen it work for some people, but I've not had good luck with it. The longest that I've had a long distance relationship last is about six months, and that's being generous. I'm not like, sure if, you, if that's the one you told me about. It's because you were way too nice to end it. Well, that one, yeah, there was that one. Um. And then there was one prior to that that I don't talk about very often because it was kind of really fucking terrible. So, um, we will not be discussing that on the video. Well, I, I would be willing to discuss it on the video, but it would be a very serious video and it would definitely and be not, a long one. Not my birthday video. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, so back to happier things since it's a birthday video. Girl, um, not a lot of really happy. Oh, my boyfriend totally got me minion Twinkies. <laughs> Minion Twinkies. I love Minions. I love Minions. <laughs> yeah, the Minion movie's coming out July 10th, so I'm hoping maybe it's a late birthday present we can go see it. I'm really hoping that we'll have the money for me to go to the movies and see the Minion movie, because oh, yeah. I really want to fucking go see it. I really want to see it too. I love Minions. And honestly, I'm sorry, but if you sit there and fucking hate on Minions, I'm not going to be your friend. Yeah, we cannot be friends if you don't like me. If you openly hate on Minions, I'm sorry. Don't fuck me. Don't fuck me. I don't like you. <laughs> Even if you're my bestest best friend, other than other than Phoenix here, if 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 you openly hate on minions, we, we gonna have problems. We gonna we gonna fight. We gonna fight. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the minion movie, have you seen the new preview where the minion is wearing a thong? No. No. It's the cutest thing. God. Fucking minion. Fucking minion butt. It's fucking adorable. But oh my god. He's like going, he's like climbing out of a pool, and he's wearing a red thong. Oh my god, and, why is it only you, red? I don't know, but you see these two like, 
yellow ash cheeks. It just like giggle as he moves. And it's just the most adorable no. and hilarious thing that ever. That sounds horrendous. That sounds horrendous but glorious and fantastic. I was watching uh, something on TV today and they played it and I was like, Minion in a thong. Oh my god. And um, just for those who've been watching the video and who think, you know, if you want to come at me and think that I'm being ungrateful and that, you know, I'm, I'm being a bitch or whatever, that's fine, you know. Think what you're going to think. But... There's a history behind a whole lot of shit that we haven't talked about in these videos. So. Exactly, there's a um, whole fucking huge ass history and it's not really something to get into. But to the people that did wish me happy birthday, like Argent Vixen on Twitter... Um, let's see, Alex, of course. Phoenix, I mean. Damn it. Uh, Rebecca Ivy. Um, who is Radical awesome. Ninja. She is awesome, so also is Vix. Um, Radical Ninja is. Oh my god, so many fucking puns. Uh, Odo Dude on Twitter, who's a Finnish guy who I met through another streamer, is kind of. We have this thing going where I call him a hooker and he calls me a wiener butt and it's weird and shit and I don't know. Wiener butt? He calls me a wiener butt for some reason. I don't know. It just started happening. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't exactly say happy birthday to me so much as he said, "Wait, what the fuck? It's your birthday too?" Because it was his birthday. So shout out, other dude. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, dude. Happy birthday. Um, Rev Ricky D on Twitter also gave me a happy birthday and called me a cutie, which was like, "What? I ain't cute. What you talking about? Shut up." Oh, you totally cute. Shut up. Victor S Hall, aka Clutch on um Twitter. Which we've given him a shout out before, if you haven't, you know. Because he's the one who did the background for us. Um, if you haven't shown him some love, he's fucking awesome. He's so, awesome, yeah. awesome, and he kicks ass at Diablo. Three. Three. And Borderlands, if I remember correctly. Yes, actually, he got me a whole bunch of shit on Borderlands, I remember now. Speaking um, of Borderlands, I'm so fucking mad at Humble Bundle right now. Oh my god, right? Um, let's see, and Tyler Big Z, you are awesome sauce as well. And, yeah. I'm still waiting on that shit you supposed to be sending me, motherfucker. Where it at? Bitch, better have, better my, have money. my money. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not I'm... sending me money. He's sending me uh, no. some loot crate extras that he didn't want. In case you guys don't know, which you'll see it in a, in a previous video. On this. We are referencing but, um, the Rihanna video, Bitch, better have my money. Uh, which, is fucking, which is fucking amazing. Um, Who's Eddie and... McClintock? Oh, he was in Warehouse 13. As, um, Pete. I don't think I watched it that much. He's like the main guy alongside. Yeah, uh, see, Warehouse 13 wasn't what I watched. I, I brought this up before in a previous video. There was something else that I watched that was kind of like Warehouse 13, but it wasn't Warehouse 13. Oh, there was something similar to that, yeah. Was it The Librarians that you watched? Which is a good show, by the way. No, it was on TNT. I don't think. Um, Oh, and while I'm thinking about it, um, if you guys are going to give her shit for her birthday, um, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Because, <laughs> fuck you. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, a bitch. There's just so much, there's just so much shit and drama there that you guys don't even fucking know about, or you know. We all have family drama, it happens, but... Yeah, I've, I've got fucking stories for days. I've got stories for years, Jesus fuck. Well, yeah, I've got stories for years, too, but, you know. It, it, yeah. uh, also, real fucking quick. Sci-Fi, stop changing your goddamn name. I know. Fucking Sci-Fi. S-Y-F-Y. Fucking stupid shit. They just keep changing it and changing it and changing did they it change, and changing it. Did they change it again? I don't know, maybe. It's still S-Y-F-Y, I think. Oh, uh, then they haven't changed it again. But yeah, it used to be the Sci-Fi channel, and then it was just Sci-Fi, and then it turned into Ugh, the sci the bitch who plays the doctor chick on... Uh... Lost Girl? Lost Girl, yes, exactly. You knew we were Is in that new Dark Matter, yeah. Yeah, she is. I, I, I just pulled the page up, and I saw exactly who you were talking about. <laughs> I was like, wait Ryan a minute. Reynolds, I love you. 
Um, I love and hate Ryan Reynolds. It's, ooh, Dominion 101 looks kind of good. There's peeps with angel wings. I will tell you, that show, I have mixed feelings about it. Because mm. the premise, the premise is good. A... It, it's execution, cheesy, and boring as fuck. There is a fucking show called Killjoys. That's actually pretty good. I've mm. watched a couple mm. episodes. Yeah, I just... it's actually kind of cool. I just want, I like Face Off. I liked Face Off. That was pretty good. If you guys haven't watched Defiance yet. Oh, Defiance is good. I, I didn't actually get to stay up on that, so I need to go back and watch it. Well, and the first season's kind of slow at, to start. Yeah. It's a, it's a very slow burn, slow. but it gets good. Sci-Fi, if you're watching, if anybody from the Sci-Fi Network is watching, please, I'm begging you, stop with the Sharknado shit. Yeah, and you could, you know, I don't know, resurrect and put Constantine on your channel. That'd be nice, too. Dude, yo, what's up? But, yeah, um, Olympus is actually pretty good, too. I've been watching it off and on. It's My about to end. I got into Helix for a while. Um, Olympus is actually about to end its first season. Um, and it's kind of cheesy, don't get me wrong, but... And Farscape most... was good. I liked the Alice in Wonderland, like, miniseries they had. Oh, I loved the Wizard of Oz one, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see that one? Um, I think it was called Tin Man? Yeah, I, I saw Tin Man because uh, Alan Cummings in it. <gasps> so fucking good. Oh, that scary. was probably... Scare Tactics probably... was good. I thought Scare Tactics was funny. Oh my god, I have a story about Scare Tactics that cracked me up. Alright, hold on. That's for another video. Let's, uh... We are at 21 minutes. Sorry about that, folks. We got off on a tangent. Train of thought. Yay! Stream of consciousness. Okay. Bye, guys. Thanks for any birthday wishes you send me. If you do, otherwise, fuck off. <laughs> Bye. Subscribe. Bye. Subscribe.